Welcome back friends. In this video, we will do hands-on with CloudTrail. Go to the AWS CloudTrail console. CloudTrail service continuously logs your AWS account activity. That way, it enables you to analyze activities in your account and take any remediation actions if needed. Let's expand the left side panel. If you click on the event history, you can find the event history of management events for the last 90 days. You can see all the API calls made into this account over the last 90 days. Now I would like to show you how AWS CloudTrail logs events. I have an EC2 instance that is running. I'm going to terminate it. And we should see the terminated instance event in the event history. Let me go to the EC2 console. Let me terminate this instance. Now let's go to AWS CloudTrail. If I wait for a few minutes, I should see the event here in the event history. As you can see, the terminate instances event is displayed here. If you click on it, you can find the details about the event, such as event time, event name, event source, source IP address, AWS region, resource type, and event record in the JSON format. Let's take another example. Let's delete an S3 bucket to see how AWS CloudTrail logs the event. Let me go to S3 and select the bucket that I have created for this demo. Let me delete it. Now let me go to AWS CloudTrail. Wait for a couple of minutes and refresh the browser. I should see the delete event. Here you can see the delete event. If I click on it, you can see the details about this event. As you can see, AWS CloudTrail is highly powerful. You can easily monitor all types of activities in your AWS account. For example, as we just walked through, if someone deletes any bucket or terminates any EC2 instance in your AWS account, you can use AWS CloudTrail to find out the details about the event. The key point to remember is AWS CloudTrail logs each API call in your account. This was a brief overview of AWS CloudTrail. I hope you liked it.